In this video, I'm going to play a few holes at Riviera Golf Club on the Golf Club 2019. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different to the videos that I've posted in the past because today arrived my Necton Sports control box for TGC 2019. And this video is my first impressions of the box. Um, so stick around, it's quite entertaining. You'll see me talking through all my shots and talking through whether I think this box is any good or not. Uh, in a couple of weeks time, I'll post a proper review on the control box to let you know the pros and cons of it and whether it's worth the money. Enjoy. Let's play Riviera with the new control box. Par five to kick off, fantastic. Yeah, I've not got my projector on, as you can see. Um, saying the temperature's too hot, no idea why. Oh well, let's crack on. I've got my new Necton Sports control box. I am looking forward to playing. So, rather than hitting to my keyboard, even though my keyboard's only there, let's just play, let's go on a flyby. Nice, what's that? One, four. That's a long way away. All right, let's go five iron. So, I think we can do that. Ah, that's all I need to do. I need to set it so that I've got X and Z on there. Don't know if I could do that now. Might be able to. Let's try it. Oh, ho, 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 we're in. So, I want to go. Six iron, mate. I want to go to the right a little bit. Done with that. Let's go. Love that. That is cool. Gotta say. Okay, not really out of practice here, but let's, let's go for it. Leaky right. Great contact. A little bit. That uh, strike's not too bad. A little bit heavy, but I've run into the rough. I love it, mate. I love this control box. It's cool. It is decent. Okay, so you're the rough here. Bit of a faff to set up, but set up now. We're good to go. Right, so let's have a look where we are. Still got a long way to go. Two six six. So if I go another six iron, let's go to the left. You know what? It does save me bending over on my keyboard. I know my keyboard is only there, but it's not at a nice height for me. Um, I should really have it a bit higher where this bar bit is here, but um, I've set it up now and I can't be asked changing it. So I do, I get a bit of a bad back for been bending over all the time and looking up with my neck, looking up at the screen like that. So I guess with this control box, like it's great. It's quite a lot easier to be fair. So let's get rid of that. Another six iron, let's go. Oh, nearly took my ceiling out. That's gonna be left that in it. Oh no. It's quite well to be fair. Well not really, but it's straight. It's the main thing. My ceiling is just about still intact. Okie dokie. Right, so what have we got here? 95 in. Now let's see if my E and X work. What did I set that as? Let's have a quick scan. Button 11, which is what? Shit. Um, it's not miss. It's going to be that first one, isn't it? think I'll set it for that so love it love it we've got front middle and back just with the click of one button instead of pressing E and then X on the keyboard fantastic so I'm assuming if I press that again well I've got 90 yards to the front press it again we're back so 90 yards to the front for me is a sand wedge which is this bad boy come on it's got to be a good Sure, I was working on my wedges yesterday, quickly. So, with the sand wedge I was carrying about 95 on average yesterday, so I've got 95 to the pin. If I go a bit further past, 
it's not that bad because if you just have a look at the flyby by pressing that button I've got some room to work with at the back so I just don't want to go short come on let's go I like it I like it I love it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll just open up with a birdie on Riviera. No problem. <laughs> I love that. I love that. What a shot. Get in there. It's all for the control box. Come on, Nekton Sports. Love it. All the way from America giving me a birdie on the first hole. Yes, Carlos. <laughs> Absolutely tremendous, I love that. Right, let's back, I'm one under, Riviera. Flyby, that's what I do to start. That's giving me a five iron. I'm going six iron, which is gonna be that button there. Back. Tell you what, I did a whole flyby on the misc, didn't I? Which is nice, but it takes ages, so might change that. I don't really use the whole flyby very often. But six iron, that's what I can hit in this little miniature setup that I've got going on. But I'm playing golf at Riviera, so who cares? Decent strike. A little bit left, long way left. Yeah, good strike, 180 with a six iron, but obviously in the rough, not great. So if I, I think escape is entering it, so I can just press that. Um, right, off we've got 199 in the heavy rough. Right, you know what, I'm tempted to lay up here. So it's that middle button in it. Yeah. Right, so let's go back. So nine irons there. What's that? Two hundred yards. Nine iron will go one forty. Let's do a comfortable nine iron. Leave myself that. Love that. Do you know what? I was a bit apprehensive about getting this control box because I thought my keyboard is within like arm's reach away from me, but straight off the bat, I think it's fantastic, I love it. Anyway, let's get a nine iron. Okay, nine iron, nice layup, heavy rough, like, big swing. Let's do this. Bit left again that, hopefully it's not in the bunker. Okay, good. Not a great carry, but it's come out of the heavy rough. I think I may need to stay on the fairway at Riviera. 77 to the pin. Okay. Right, tell you what. Where's my yardages? Let me get these yardages up for you. I should have. What I want to show you is my wedge matrix from the other week. Um, I used it in the wedge matrix video, in the wedges workout video, I used it in that. Um, but obviously there's quite a few numbers on there and I struggle to remember them all. So I like having that little table. Um, I gave the tip of printing it out, laminating it and sticking it on your bag, but I haven't got around to that yet. So I just have it up on my computer. I also have it up on my phone. Um, so yeah, I can just like whack it up on my photographs and then there it is, I can use that. Because when I'm out on the course, um, I use my phone for GPS, like an app called 18 Birdies I use. So I've always got my phone in my hand whilst I'm playing golf. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to get it up. I've got a better version of it, a bigger version, obviously, up on, on my uh, computer. But I don't know where I've saved it to. Right, so I want to go 75 yards. So I'm looking really... Ah, uh, sandwich, three quarter sandwich, Anna. 
maybe give it a bit more. Nice swing. Oh, pushed it a bit. It's not going to be on the green. Shizzle. Yardage was good. Right. Unbelievable. I've been talking to the camera for like the last 10 minutes and it's been off. Um, but yeah, if you're just joining me, I've got an eagle put on the fourth at Riviera. It's a bit heavy. It's a lovely draw. Get over that bunker. It's over. Get going. <laughs> it's eagle time. It's eagle time at Riviera. Get in there. I like what you've uh, done with this hole. Just, just gotta drive the green and uh, putt for eagle. Sounds good. Maybe I should play in jeans. All and right, a jumper thirteen every day. footer here. Now let's line it up using my control box, shall we? Alright, so 13 feet to the right. I reckon about there. If I go 15 feet, put. Let's do this. Let's do this 15 feet. Gotta be quite aggressive with it, Mitch. Come on. Eagle time. Might not be hard enough. Get in. Oh, you little. Wow. That would have been my first eagle on TGC, but it's a tapping birdie. I'm flying at Riviera today. Sitting at two under Pull for the on. round. Get in. What have we got? What have we got? Fifth hole. 384. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change these small buttons at the top of the control box. I'm going to change them because I've got them set to club up and club down at the moment. But I reckon I'm going to set that misc, that miscellaneous button to club down and the one next to it club up maybe. Just because it's harder to press the small buttons than it is to obviously press the larger ones. See, it's just a bit awkward with the small button. Uh, I'm going to be aiming right. Let's just check that's looking good. I've been hitting a little draw actually. Last couple of shots with that six nine, so I'm going to aim a bit further right. Let's do this. I've got some ceiling at the top of, on the bottom of my club. I don't know if you can see that. You can see where it says number six. That's some plaster that from the ceiling. Come on, grip down a bit so I don't swat the ceiling. Good strike. It's fat. Damn. Horrid. How's that got 170? Yeah, that was pretty shizer. Uh, right, so that wants me to chip out, but I ain't gonna do that. So let's go. I ain't chipping out there, mate. Let's club up. Look at that, mate. So easy. Love that with the control box. Wow. Class. Do like it. Club down now, please. Right, I'm gonna go. Pitching wedge there. Can I reach from here? I can reach from there, surely. Six iron. I'm definitely reaching from there. Stick with a six iron. I know I'm in the rough. I'm 24 feet downhill. Good strike. It's going to get me somewhere near that green, I reckon. It's a good strike. I just hope it's not hooked. It's a beautiful draw, Mitch. That's on the green. No danger. Get on that green. What a shot, son. Love that. Love that. 21 feet. What's a time? How are we looking? I imagine that'll probably happen quite a lot now I've got this control box, I'll drop my clubs. Right, so let's go a bit closer to the pin. 
21 feet, three inches downhill. Looks quite a severe break that to be fair. So I'm just gonna try and roll this up. I reckon about 17 feet, something like that. 17 feet should get me there. Quite a long backswing there, but hopefully it's not too big. Slow down. That's inside six, isn't it? Surely. Four feet up to. Pa. Happy days. I'm looking. Two under is your adjusted score after that hole. Two under, unbelievable. I'm actually one under, but because of my, I'm on, I'm on handicap scoring, aren't I? I've put handicap scoring on, so it's saying I'm two under. Love it. Right, 154 yards, par three. Bunker to get over. It's 144 to the pin. Look at that. Let's see, I might have to zoom in a minute. Using the mouse. So I've got a big lip to get over there, haven't I? So if we go. Actually, not that. Right. So we're looking 144, 139, it's gonna be 140. I mean, for me, with that, an 8-iron will go 150. I'm gonna have to go 8-iron, Anna, because if I don't hit it very well, I should still be up there. Amateur golfer tip, always club up because you don't always hit it as far as you think you do. Watch me now, I'll go 160 with an 8 iron. Right, it's a good strike as well. Get over that bunker. It's going to go in the bunker. See, I thought that was a good strike and it's gone 128 yard carry, something ridiculous like that. It's poo at that. With an 8 iron. It says 7 iron on there, but that was an 8 iron. Damn. Now then, a bit of work to do. What's the uh, those old habits there, going for the keyboard? Bit of a ball that so it's okay right 14 yards 40 percent in the bunker just got 20 yards i'm gonna play this as a 20 yard little pitch shot so that's seven o'clock swing should be good it's not registered Beautiful, Mitch. Oh, 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 oh. get in that six feet zone, please. Correct. Good shot, Mitchell. Oh, you're making me put out. Unbelievable. Does anybody know why it does that? Does anybody know why it makes you put out, even though it's set to six feet gimmies and it says I'm six feet away? It's a bit annoying. Anyway, slightly left. Six feet. Aim slightly left, Mitch. An inch downhill. Let's give it a good run. Up to that net. That's going to be well too hard. Get the get in the hole, please. Oh, thankfully it didn't read. Thankfully that didn't read. Okay, so get it rolled up nicely there, please. Let's 
got to be in. Not hit it. I've not hit it hard enough, you idiot. What are you doing? That's a shot left on the course. Okay, one under for the round. Okay, I'm going to leave it there at the sixth hole because if I'm being perfectly honest, my round went a little bit downhill after that. So um, thank you very much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed that longer version of my course vlogs. Um, like I said at the start of the video, I'm going to do a full detailed review on the Necton Sports Control Box in the next couple of weeks. It just gives me a little bit of time to play around with it and to give you guys a better and more detailed in-depth review. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And if you're new to the channel, Handicap Golf, don't forget to subscribe. Loads more content about golf simulators, Skytrack, the Golf Club 2019. And hopefully when we get out of this whole pandemic, I'll do some proper course vlogs. Thank you very much. I'll see you again soon.